Hello everybody, welcome to Road to Manhood. My name is John Moses. Today I'm going to be talking about what you need to know before you purchase a rooftop tent. More specifically, a roof nest condor hard shell tent. Stay tuned. Man, I know I had a lot of questions before making the leap and ordering my rooftop tent. It isn't cheap, but is it worth it? I'm going to be going over a lot of pros and cons to uncover some details you probably haven't heard of just yet. The true value of rooftop tent can be subjective, but ultimately going to be based on where and how often you plan on using it. If you're going to be primarily camping around your vehicle, such as overlanding, also known as taking trails off the main road and camping in primitive areas, or something as simple as reserving an RV campsite, where you can camp right off your vehicle in designated areas, are just a few examples of where you will see its true value. But if you do not plan on camping often, or plan on camping away from your vehicle, such as trips where you have to hike to a campsite, the rooftop tent would probably then be pointless. Granted, you can go for a hike hauling around a rooftop tent as long as you plan on returning to your vehicle for the night. Ever since the UK popularized camping as a pastime in the 1880s, there has been many efforts to lessen the load of the once primitive gear to make it as convenient as possible. The rooftop tent is one of those efforts. The thought of having a tent on top of the vehicle has been around since the 1930s but just now started growing in popularity. As more and more people started clinging to the outdoors, the idea of conveniently and quickly preparing a home away from home, safely away from the ground elements, seems like a no-brainer. And honestly, it is. But let's take a deep dive on what needs to be taken in consideration before you make the purchase. First, there's a couple things that need to be taken in consideration before a tent is involved. Do you have the appropriate vehicle and proper rack system to support a tent? You must take in consideration the static weight, which is staying still, and the kinetic weight. This is in motion. Check if your vehicle can handle that and your rack system. It is called a rooftop tent, but placing this on the roof could potentially negatively affect your vehicle. Before ordering a rack system, I will strongly encourage you to consider how modular your rack system needs to be. This will go a long way in regards to other gear that you would like to carry. It also wouldn't hurt to have an idea of how you plan on storing your camping equipment and consider avoiding as much drag as possible while driving regarding to the tent placement. Doing that now will save you a lot of money in the long run. I'll talk about more about my rack system in a later video. Finally, storage. You have a place to store the tent. To me, this is an expensive item to just have laying on the ground where bugs can make it their own luxury suite. I don't think so. I had to create a hoist system that can not only allow me to store the tent, but also allow me to load and unload by myself, avoiding annoying moments like this. Man, <clears throat> how annoying is this? It's taking me longer to find assistance to help carry this and put it on the rack than it is gonna be to install this shit. Yeah, go ahead and click on this link to avoid all that nonsense. All right, guys, let's talk about some pros, big pros. First of all, I'm not going to go any specific order. I have it shut right now, and I'm going to go through the pros as I open it up and all that. One of the main things is hard shell. Strongly, strongly encourage a hard shell. Many factors. One major thing that stands out is that there's no zippers along the line to get this thing open. There's only a few clips here that needs to be released, which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, and then it opens up rather quickly. On top of that, while it's closed, it can be my own personal theory, but I think that the aerodynamics, the way that it's designed, also helps with a little less drag. There's not a lot of flapping around. And as we're taking trails, you know, the trails are not maintained. So sometimes you're scratching through trees and all that, or sometimes the trees are low and they're scratching through this as well. This doesn't get a lot of damage. You're not worried about your tent because this, this hard shell actually works out really well. This is lightweight plastic, it's ABS plastic. The entire tent itself is about 135 pounds. Um, so it's just kind of keep that food for thought. But this is great, I really like that feature. One of the main, main things that I really love about this as well is the, the wind noise. 
We've been through the beach, we've been to, through some very windy conditions. As long as whenever you lift up this tent and the wind is pressing against the shell, um, the wind noise is reduced dramatically, causing way better of a sleep as well. So I strongly recommend that. And even with, with roof nests, what they do provide in regards to the wind noise is that on the shocks, when I open up, I'll show you the shocks that actually help the, shock, the, the, the tent go up. They give you some locks, so just in case it's crazy windy, you don't have to worry about it falling on your head, man. This color does not come with the roof nest. I painted it um, like a rhino color. It came with this shiny black. I guess it's the con, but I'm sure they might have other options later. It may have the option now, but I had to paint this to get that color to match my truck and all that. Roof nest actually provides like extra stuff, like uh, a privacy tent, a four x four ground mat, it comes with all the, the hardware and the equipment. They even gave you an actually uh, uh, a socket wrench to make this entire process a lot easier to get this installed. Very convenient, I'm very impressed. And they included this very convenient LED light that connects to US battery, and not to mention the free freight shipping. This was super cool. They also come with some uh, pouches that I'm about to show you here in a little bit. Once I open this up, it comes with some pouches. You can add your shoes and all that. I actually chose this height in regards to the tent because I wanted to be as flush with the roof as possible with the truck and avoid drag. To my surprise though, there was not a lot of obstruction on that rear view mirror. Let's get this baby open. Every video you've seen regarding a rooftop tent, they talk about how easy it is to set up. But guys, that ain't no joke. It is a huge pro. But let me tell you something that stands out in a hard shell, maybe specifically to roof nest, but my experiences with this specific hard shell is that you don't necessarily need to take the whole setup um, at once in order for you to actually take shelter, which is great because let me paint a scenario. Let's this, this pretend it's raining. You get to your campsite. There's no sign of it stopping. They say that your gear you set up gear all the way inside so you can't sleep comfortably in here. But you know what? All you have to do is take a few seconds to get this opened up and then you'll have shelter right away. All you have to do, come out here in the rain, get this going. This comes with a 7.5 feet telescope ladder. Once you get this out. Jeez Louise, I always get stuck here, man. Hey, normally this would have been faster, but I don't know how to use a telescope ladder right now. Okay, I would have been soaked. That was my bad. But in normal cases, this telescope ladder would have been posted up a long time ago. But anyway, right away, you have shelter. You can go in there. But damn! If you needed to, you can lock this in so this doesn't flap around. But at the end of the day, you automatically have somewhere to go. You don't have to set up the whole thing. Once again, that would have been a lot faster, but I'm an idiot and I don't set up that ladder. Now, I'm gonna set up the thing real quickly for you so you can have an idea about it in regards to how it fully sets up. These are the pouches I was telling you guys about. Super convenient because, especially if the ground is like dirty or whatever, you don't wanna throw your shoes in there. You can just pop these suckers in there, slide them in, flip these babies over. Once again, this is just like the longer setup time. But even at that point, you have these options. You don't even have to put these suckers up, but just so you can see everything that it takes to actually get the full setup of you were just hanging out. And Jenny and I, when we're out like camping, we tackle this in a matter of minutes because I'm doing one thing, she's doing the other, or one of us takes over this completely and all she has to do is uh, get this done by herself. It's a one man job, but obviously we work as a team so we get it done quicker. So these are the options for the windows. I'm gonna share with you guys a con, which we'll get to more later, but I can't use all these because the way that I have it set up on the truck. As you can tell, they have an area where you can come over here, secure it. Cool. I personally set up my rig where I can have this as like a secondary table 
where I can have space in between here to have more gear in here. I think it's just better overall because you end up, you can put stuff in here. It's also another protection from the rain and everything. I think it's just a great opportunity. This right here is the entire setup. That's all it took, it's done. Now, you can have the option to throw this all the way back if you like to. Um, you can have access to the sunroof, which I'll show you in the inside in a little bit. Um, but this is all it is. It's actually pretty cool. Once again, here, once you step inside, you can put your shoes in here. Just those type of features really stand out to me. I really like this. Let's go and take a look inside. All right, this is our first little experience in testing out this tent. I feel like uh, we have enough headroom here. Look at that. Definitely enough headroom. Definitely, definitely enough. Room. I thought the ladder was gonna be a lot more like. Whoa. Go in there, go all the way in. What do you think? This is cool, dude. It's right? Like, I, I, can, I can sit up. <laughs> I bet if I wanted to, I could stand up, honestly. This place is huge. <laughs> what the heck? By the way, this is Emily. She's my beautiful Hi. niece. And we have three of us in here. We're all adults. Just kidding. They're kids. <laughs> They're teenagers, okay? Teenagers. But still, they ain't little and we fit pretty comfortably. What do y'all think about y'all staying here? Mm -hmm. It may look small from the outside, but it's definitely super big in the inside. It definitely nice. looks a lot smaller on the outside than it does on the inside. It's like, yeah. Is that tent in Harry Potter? Yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool. So how secure would you feel? Like, let's say we're out camping somewhere. Would you feel more comfortable in here or in a ground tent? A huge, definitely. A huge con for me about camping is bugs. And yeah. this is like, eradicate stuff. So camping would be so much more uh, bug less. Yeah. Yeah, oh. I say this as well. Especially because like ground, like there could anything can get in, like snakes, anything. So with with here, you're you're pretty safe. Gotcha. What did you think about setting up and everything? Not that long at all. You feel like it was easier or not as easy as a ground tent? Definitely I, easier. I set Definitely. Up, I set easier. up a tent once, and I I don't know how I did. I, I can't set like up hour. a tent. <laughs> it's a lot of space, guys. So the mattress is actually six centimeters thick, and it comes with a waterproof mattress. So if you pee, you should be fine. These, if you don't mind opening it up, has two screens, your regular nylon screen, and it also has your, your uh, mesh screen. You can open that one up too. And just a, you know, no screen. So you have the option for views and getting full air as well. <laughs> Ethan just fell. You good, buddy? <laughs> I'm good. Another quick pro too is that on top of all this space, there's like a little area over here, just items here while you're sleeping. I don't recommend, and also the companies don't recommend you actually have a lot of items in here while you close it because you know you don't you don't want to damage the tent. But while you're sleeping, you can put things out here. Like I have like pillows or flashlights, wallets, or my guns or whatever the case is. We're out there hunting in the wilderness, so that's cool. But also the quality of this. This is where I was talking about that shock. You can actually put in here. There's a bracket on here, so if it's super super windy, this will hold that from falling on you. Which honestly. We, whenever we were using it, it was super windy. We didn't feel the thing. We didn't use them. It was fine. So I had full faith in this. If I had to give you some cons, there is some cons, but they're once again a far stretch from the pros. The first con, definitely the price. Super expensive. And on top of that, another con on that is that you kind of have to be, you have to be prepared for the other expenses that not a lot of people talk about. For example, if you just buy this tent, you can't, you can't put it on anything unless you have a system to put it on. For example, we had to spend also extra amount. I like this, I have a diamond back and a front runner set up, but that was another cost that had to be done before I can put this anywhere um, as well. So that's an additional cost that had to have been done. So another con. Uh, on top of that, to be nitpicky, the windows, as awesome as they are, they're placed really awkwardly. Like when we were out at Big Ben, we were laying down like this comfortably and we have no like visual for the outdoors. So in order for us to actually take a look, we have to sit over, peek over, and then, you know, peek over. It's such a nitpicky thing, but when it comes to windows, obviously you want to take advantage of them. Super small, but that was one of my cons. Another potential con that I personally haven't had to deal with is leveling. For example, if you were in this ground, um, and a tent, it'd be a little bit uncomfortable unless you had a specific mat or whatever. Um, and then obviously if it's unleveled, you, people use track mats. I have go treads that I can use as well. I haven't, once again, I haven't had to do that, but I'm sure that can probably be a, you know, an issue. Uh, so far everywhere we went has been pretty level ground, so we haven't had any issues leveling. But 
I heard that was something that kind of stood out to a lot of people. And this is the window, once again, that because of the truck and the way I have it laid out, unfortunately, I cannot have my window out. I have to kind of rig it up a little bit. The mobility of this, right? You can't really physically take the tent anywhere you want like a normal tent. It can be a con if you want to go hiking and all that. Um, unfortunately, you have to have it on a truck. That's one. On top of it too, you have to plan ahead. For example, let's say you get a you re reserve a campsite, you go camping, and in your campsite, you're not directly next to the lake or a hiking area or whatever, so you want to go out there. You have to plan ahead to go do all those activities first, then come set up camp. It'd be a pain in the nangas if you set up all your stuff and then you have to go out because you wanted to catch a trail or hit a lake at a different area. It's very limited cons. At the end of the day, if it's something that you're gonna utilize, it's worth the money, 100%. If you are interested in the roof nest, a condor or this one, I'll post a link below. Um, I personally like this for my small family, but they also have larger uh, platforms that you can use, or if you have a bigger family, you can do that as well. Now for the breakdown, the process is super simple. I'll go over it real quickly so you can see it, but at the end of the day, this is just chop, chop it down to how quickly it can be. See, stuff like this, man, is super simple. They really provide you with everything you need in order to make this process quickly. But it ends up being easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Coming inside, I'm gonna go ahead and just zip everything back up. Not necessarily that you have to, but it is something you want to do. I'm going to throw this back over. Okay, before we close, I just have the roof nest privacy tent. It looks like I got a doo-doo stain. I got just the camping pillows, the tools, which I need to put in here. And then I have just like a couple pouches and stuff in here that I have. But besides that, that's it. We carry the the bedding and everything separately just so we don't add mass up in this tent mine hold out this is the strap that i have to use to get the window going because unfortunately that one window don't lack me lift this up this one actually comes with a bungee cord as well to help hold everything down. Okay. I just go ahead and pack everything in there as much as possible. They make it easy to replace these if needed. Overall, the concept of this specific gear goes a very long way. I learned a long time ago there is a lot of value in investing in experiences. Being able to travel and create memories that will last a lifetime is worth every penny. This rooftop tent has added layers of safety, convenience and comfort and continues to prove itself in every trip. With low maintenance and high reward, more than ever I look forward to every trip and eager to plan the next one as soon as we get back. Throughout all my research, Roof Nest stood out the most for value for dollar and I'm very satisfied with it so far. Guys, I hope that was beneficial to you. I know I personally had a lot of questions in making such an investment because they're not cheap, but guys, it was so much worth it, especially if you're gonna be using them often and camping near your vehicle. My name is John Moses. This is Road to Manhood. Like and subscribe for more videos. I'm gonna be reviewing everything from the Diamondback front runner all the gear that i have we have this mountain hatch as well that we're going to be reviewing everything in detail like and subscribe so you can be a part of that road to madden family to old friends and new peace put on dry food <laughs>